<laughs> okay, whatever. I'm just gonna do this. So, I'm doing my vlog. I'm wearing this hoodie that Dun gave me. Pretty sure she gave it to me because it was too small for her. And I am sweating. I'm so hot in there. Um, okay, what, what am I doing? So I got this guitar pedal today and I wanted to put it together. Do that today. And also I guess just a vlogging test. Yeah, it's very reverby in this room. Decided to shoot in this room. Um, Cause I didn't want to go into the basement. Cause the basement is uncomfortable. It's cold down there. And then my room is just, it's a joke. So I'm in this room here. Okay, so what did I get? I got a guitar pedal from Amazon. It's right here. Um, it's the Gito, that's the brand, medium sized Gito. And I got it for like 176 Canadian dollars. Mm. Is that all I need to say? Okay, so. I will show you the box. It has a nice picture. Can you see that? It's heavy. Holy shit. So, um, I wanted to get a new pedal board. Oh, I'll show you the old one later. Uh, cause I, I need, I need more room. Cause I, I bought a new pedal, which I'll show you later. And I want to get some more pedals. So I got this one because it is Velcro-less. Like, there are these fasteners. Put it on, it clamps on the pedal and it keeps it in place. So I don't want to use Velcro because I just have this thing against sticking things onto expensive pedals. I don't like that. I'll show you the current setup. It's, it's jokes. Um, Model is GPB02 medium. Oh, it says the weight is 2.7 kilograms. Um, I don't know. I don't know what that is. What that like? What to compare that with? 2.7 k. 2.7 kilograms. All oh, right. Let's see. Do you really need? Okay, I'm gonna open it up using this fancy knife. Exacto knife, I don't know. This is meant for like, like detail cutting. Not for opening boxes, but whatever. I forgot to say the date. Um, it is Wednesday, November mm -mm, 16th, uh, 6.13 p.m. Okay, so I opened up this box. It actually wasn't that hard. And voila, look! <laughs> um, here. Oh my god. Seriously, this is good. Um, put this over here. Oh, put this over here. Okay, this is heavy and there aren't even any pedals on it yet. 2.7 kilograms. Okay, Gito GPB02B. Do we really need to have the um, make and model stitched into the bag like that. I will probably put some duct tape on that. No one needs to know that. No one needs to know what's in here. Okay, I hope the board is a stump board. <laughs> should be, right? Okay, should be. Oh, fuck. Oops. Um, there's a box in here. Oh, and a strap. Is this, is this interesting? Oh, okay. I thought I ordered, oh, maybe it's over here, yeah. So see, I thought I ordered some extra fasteners for this. Okay, so there's that box. And um, I, I'll just show this and then I'll, I'll stop recording. Cause I don't think this is very interesting. It's pretty heavy. I don't like I don't like how heavy it is. 
You like metal. I thought it was gonna be like cheap plastic. Instructions, some, uh, ha some handles, handle or whatever, handle. Um, you get one of these tools that to get to screw it in. Fasteners is the other handle. Can you see this? Should I be like, oh my God, I'm covering my eyes. Covering my eyes so that I can't see the framing. This stuff. Um, and some screws and bolts and stuff. Back. So. Went to get my okay. Went to get my pedal board. So this is my my first my first pedal board. It's a small one. Let's show you where the pedals. Okay. So we have Chox DC7 Astral UAFX Astral. This there's like chorus and stuff like that. Starlight is delay. These are all UAFX pedals. A by UAD. And then uh, golden reverb. They're being held up right now. Okay, so here's the pedal. So I, our pedal board. It's, it's a it's a, something I got from Amazon. Um, and the pedals are being held up by hair ties. Okay, this is this is actually an upgrade because uh, I started off with um. I don't know if you can see it. Hide my face. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it. Focus. What the fuck, man? Okay. Yeah, you probably can't see it. Um, being held by elastic bands. From this bag of elastics that I've had for ages. Okay. Um, I decided to upgrade from that to the hair bands. Yeah, I should go and get the hair bands. Oh, just to show. So I decided, I decided to upgrade from the elastic bands to her bands because um, when these pedals were on, they would get hot and then I could start smelling the, the rubber. And I didn't like that. So I got her bands. It took me a while because I knew I needed really large ones. So I got these from Shoppers Drug Mart. QO30 Elastics. QO Beauty. Focus. Focus on it. Um, yep. How much were they? They were, I thought they were too expensive. They were like eight bucks or something like that. Crazy. You have to get them really big. Um, they're um, very tight. Can't even see. Okay. Very tight. Hard to get on because these pedals are pretty big. All right, and then um, I got this one recently. It's another UAFX. Dream, the dream pedal. I had to get this one because um, I'm not into um, guitar amps because they're too heavy. Don't like carrying that stuff around. So I got this. So well, now I need to expand or update my pedal board. And that's why we're here today. Also, um, just to be able to play like metal, metal music, I um, want to add this to the board. Oh. Can you focus please? Metal driver. I've had, this is actually my first pedal. I've had this since I was 15 years old. Just uh, my dad randomly dropped it off for me. And it'll do for now to add some distortion. I do plan on getting like an overdrive pedal later. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to put this together. I've rearranged things. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Don't wanna move the camera. Can't get any good angles in this room. So, so bland. So I'm going to arrange this. We want the... Okay. We want the... Um, the 
distortion first, then the the modulation, the Astra, Astra, um, Starlight, or the delay, Golden, um, Reverb, and then Dream. Can go like this. Perfect. I'll go maybe more like this. Yes. Okay, more like that. Okay, and then, um, sure, why not? Can you see that? Probably can't see it all. Oh my god, I said. So I'm gonna look up how to get the fasteners on and then fasten it up. Um, it took me a while, a uh, while to figure this out. Okay, first of all, um, it has some kickstand. You just press it in and it flies open, hard as heck. See the other side. Fucking, oh, I feel like it's gonna like, hurt my knuckles. And on the bottom, there's like an Atlan key. How cool is that? Oh, this thing slides? It's supposed to do that? And then this weapon, this is an Allen key. It's cool. I think it's cool. I'm gonna use this. Um, these instructions are pretty bad. Um, it's explaining how to put the fasteners on, but it doesn't explain how to actually assemble the fasteners. I just figured it out. That's right, big sigh. Okay, here's a close up of the fastener. Can you hear my heavy breathing? Oh, oh. Okay, here's the fastener, and here's the screw. Okay, so I put the screw in my lap. Here's this thing. The other part of the screw. Can you even see this? Is that even in focus? This is hard, man. I'm sweating. Oh, my hands are clammy. Okay, focus, please, on this thing, right? If only it would, like, focus. Hmm? Please? Please. All right, I've set it to manual focus. I need to show you this because I do. Okay, so here's the fastener, the rubber sides here that goes up against the pedal. And then you got the screw. Goes in, um, and then you got this part, I don't know what it's called. See, there's a steeple, you put that on top so it looks like a bolt. And then that goes on the bottom here. Screw it in. Oh my god, screw it in. This, um, yeah, this is hard to do on camera like this. Just, just enough so that it latches on and then you stick that into the pedal board, the groove. Whoa. Each pedal needs four. Um, just gonna start with two, with two. Can you see this? And just slide it into the groove. Okay. All right. Oh. All right. Yes, there you have it. Got it on, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna um, stop recording and um, put in the rest of the pedals. I finished putting it together. Oh, this is kind of tricky to um, figure out where to place the power supply because it's just designed weird. It's sticking out. Hope, I hope this fits in the case. It might not. It's so empty over here. And this is so heavy. Now everything is pretty secure. I attached the patch cables. Um, and 
I don't have enough of these six inch. Well, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll need a longer cable to attach the metal drivel up to the um, Astra. Okay, let's see if this will fit in my case. This case, empty, yeah, is pretty heavy. I don't know what it's made of, why it needs to be the, um, that heavy. Maybe the padding? Maybe. Okay. Okay. Guess it does fit. Um, I'm trying to zip it up. All right, that's cool. I am super hot. I don't know why I'm wearing this. It's really hot and I'm sweating. Okay. So it fits. It's heavy. It's fucking heavy. Why? Why does it need to be made out of metal? Or whatever that material is. What can it have been made out of? Plastic. This one's pretty light. Whatever. Guess so. Hello. Thank you.
my god. This chalks power supply keeps coming loose. Not designed well. Okay, fuck that. Fuck the shit.